Hello, everyone, and thank you for tuning in to Stimulus Updates, your go-to channel for the most recent news and updates on various monetary and fiscal stimulus initiatives. Today, I am Ali, your host. However, before we get into the changes for today, make sure that you click the button to subscribe and that you set on the notification bell so that you are never left without an update on anything that has to do with stimuli. During these trying times, we are here to keep you informed and to give you the power to make decisions. Let's get right down to business, shall we? The upgrade that was released today is far more than thrilling. It is revolutionary. People with low incomes and those with fixed incomes could potentially receive a monthly financial boost of $1,800 if they are eligible for this program. There will be no more teases instead. Let's immerse ourselves in this fascinating new development. Imagine this. The government is considering a revolutionary step that would provide individuals who are struggling with low incomes with a considerable monthly income of $1,200 up front in addition to an additional $600 for a total of a mind-boggling $1,800 per month. I am now in possession of the inside scoop on all of the important details. And believe me when I say that you will want to know every single detail. Prior to delving into the specifics, I would want to reassure you that the information presented here comes directly from the most reliable source which is congress.gov, therefore, you can rest assured that this is not simply a rumor. It is the genuine article. From this point on, I will begin to peel back the layers of this proposition. And believe me when I say that it is more than just an additional digit on your monthly bank statement. This piece of proposed legislation has the potential to be a ray of hope for a great number of people and families, particularly in the midst of an ongoing pandemic that is affecting the entire world and where many people are still struggling to make ends meet. Consider the possibility that individuals and couples with modest incomes would receive a monthly payment of $1,200 with an additional $600 for each kid who is dependent on them. This is not merely monetary assistance. Rather, it is a potential lifeline for individuals who are in excruciating need. Let's shift our focus to Representative Ilhan Omar, who has been one of the most ardent supporters of this groundbreaking legislation. It is not enough for her to simply discuss it. She has also written an opinion piece in which she dissects the Support Act in great depth. The goal of this legislation is to identify people in the United States who have low incomes and offer them with the financial assistance they so sorely require. Making a significant difference in people's lives is more important than making a small amount of money. Let's speak about the numbers now. A monthly payment of $1,200 is proposed for adults under the Support Act, with an additional $600 being paid for each kid who is dependent on the parent. When the statistics are crunched, you can see that there is the possibility of an additional $1,800 being added to the monthly budget of some families. This is not merely cash support. Rather, it has the potential to completely transform the situation for those who are struggling economically. However, the level of excitement does not stop there. A forward-thinking concept is included in the proposal, which proposes to replace payments for child tax credits with a larger monetary amount. To what end? The provision of financial assistance to each and every child born in the United States for the first 18 years of their lives, regardless of the income of the household in which they were created. To this point, a vigorous discussion is taking place in Congress on this plan, with the primary focus being on the implementation of ongoing monthly payments for all citizens of the United States. 
On April 9D, Representative Ilhan Omar brought attention to the recurring dual check of $1,200 that is provided to individuals with low incomes, which includes an additional $600 per month, which is made possible by the Support Act. In order to complete the procedure, persons with low incomes must be identified. Moreover, despite the fact that the income criteria may appear to be quite high, $75,000 or less for singles and $150,000 or less for couples. Those who are eligible for this could receive a monthly income increase as a result. It is possible that this piece of legislation will make life much simpler for a great number of people if it is approved. It will provide an additional $1,200 per month in addition to an additional $600 for each child that is eligible. Now, Let's talk about the most obvious problem in the room. In spite of the fact that this proposition is causing ripples and provoking conversations, the legislation has not yet been enacted into law. The wheels of Congress are moving, and politicians such as Ilhan Omar are at the vanguard of the movement, advocating passionately for the cause. Consequently, despite the fact that nothing is conclusively decided, the fact that this conversation is taking place is a positive indication that the government is actively looking for methods to aid those who are struggling financially. Consider the potential impact that this could have on individuals, families, and the economy as a whole for a ripple effect. A monthly increase of $1,800 might provide individuals with not just the opportunity to achieve financial stability, but also the chance to make investments in areas such as education, health, and a more promising future. This is a proposition that, if put into action, has the potential to completely transform the economic landscape of the United States. Our first inquiry comes from a vivacious individual who is 72 years old and is eyeing the horizon. He is curious about whether or not it is possible for him to bask in the grandeur of social security benefits while sipping cocktails on a beach in another country. In any case, Fasten your seatbelts, because the answer is an unequivocal yes. If you are a proud citizen of the United States, you have the opportunity to substitute the hustle and bustle of the United States for an adventure abroad without having to give up those enticing Social Security earnings. But let's not overlook the people who receive Social Security benefits from the ordinary hero. We have some good news for you in order to get your federal stimulus checks you will not be required to file a tax return. Treasury authorities are getting ready to send them out over the mail. Millions of people will experience financial relief. Imagine a monthly check of up to $100, which would be a welcome lifeline for many people who are facing economic uncertainty in the midst of inflation. Here is a new development in the story of the economy. The Gas Rebate Act 2022 was conceived by the federal government in response to the fact that the price of a gallon of gasoline has risen to more than $5. A series of checks costing a cool $100 are being offered as a gas boost. But hold on, there's more to come. An additional $100 for households and dependents for each month that the price of a gallon of gasoline exceeds $4. Not only does it provide a financial boost, but it is also a heroic move that will reduce the load that is placed on the wallet of the common American. It is a ray of optimism that this legislation has been passed in the midst of an ongoing pandemic when people are still struggling to make ends meet. Imagine a situation in which individuals and couples with modest incomes receive a monthly stipend of $1,200 with an additional $600 granted for each child who is dependent on them. For some households, this may represent an additional $1,800 per month in living expenses. Talk about a savior for individuals who are seeking assistance. In spite of this,